Hello, my name is Tony McLean and it's my great honour to be the Chief Executive of St Joseph's Hospice here in Hackney. Today we've gathered together in a very different way from our Light of a Life Remembrance Service, which is one of the most important events here at St Joseph's. Usually I'd be looking out in the courtyard with hundreds of people instead of being here in the hub with just several onlookers. It's nonetheless important that we gather together in a way for our Light Up a Life service, as it's our opportunity to remember and celebrate the lives of those who have gone but are never forgotten. It is perhaps all the more important given the current pandemic. As part of our ceremony this evening, I want to pay tribute to the Sisters of Charity who have made all that we have here at St Joseph's possible. Without these brave and industrious women, who have for almost 116 years cared for the sick and dying of East London and over the years many thousands of people would not have had the exceptional care and support here at the hospice and in the communities that we serve. In addition today can I ask you to add a little prayer for all those sisters to those of your loved ones but mostly I want to thank you for your wonderful support this year for the way that you rallied round when we needed you, for the protective equipment when we had so little, for the food parcels, the flowers, the messages and the support and love that you showed us all. But back to our key focus this evening, our Light Up A Life service. As we light up our remembrance tree and we hang our beautiful written stars on this and many other trees around our site, let us hope these lights are a beacon to those in grief after the loss of a loved one here and in our communities. Let these lights be a reminder also that life must go on after the loss of those we love, but it does not in any way diminish that loss or dilute that love. Thank you for joining with us this evening and I hope you enjoy our remembrance service. The Lord is your protector. The Lord is the shadow on your right side. Adonai Shomrecha Adonai Tzilcha Al Yad Yeminecha Yom Om Hashemesh Lo Yakeko the sun will not forsake you, nor the moon at night. May the Lord be with you and be with us and be with the ones whose souls departed to a better world. Amen. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. You know. And I will love you, Lord, my 
When I have moved beyond you in the adventure of life, gather in some pleasant place and there remember me with spoken words old and new. Let a tear fall if you will, but let a smile come quickly, for I have loved the laughter of life. And when you face some crisis with anguish, when you walk alone with courage, when you choose your path of right, I shall be very close to you. I have followed the valleys. I have climbed the heights of life. I'm Jodie Spargo. I work in a patient and family counselling team at St Joseph's. I'm an art therapist. I work with families, um, patients and often their children. In a non-COVID year, what happens is we, um, we set up a making space for kids and uh, the materials are all out and we, we, we give the children a kind of a basic template. So they've got an idea of how they might make a lantern, but they can do whatever they like. So they might come up like this, or it might come out up like this, or somewhere in between. We might be chatting to the kids as well as about their making, also about you know the person that they're there to remember. Um, and those, you know, so those, those ideas and those memories get shared within the whole of the session. I do think that adults find it really hard to think about, you know, sadness of children. You know, we want to make children feel, feel great all the time. Um, but actually, you know, we know that it's really helpful for them to be able to, you know, just express some more difficult feelings sometimes. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life. Silent. 
and night. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity so that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with a rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me. You are my strength, strength like no Joy.